Traders and shipping planners use all this information to decide how much cargo can go to which port and terminal, with which vessel. When in doubt about the exact depth of the port, they work with a safety margin in order to ensure sufficient underkill clearance. Coming in with a draft of 50 meters, eh, as advised by maybe authorities that it is possible. But in the end, it comes out that uh, only the maximum draft will be 14.9. Um, it can cause uh, a loss in, in cargo to be loaded or to be discharged. And in the end, there will be more costs or more income for the, uh, for the charters or for the, uh, the time charters. So it's very important for us to provide these this parties, all the parties concerned, with the exact information. An average tanker, such as an Aframax. If the trader employs an extra safety margin of 15 centimeters on top of the normal underkeel clearance, that means $37,800 less cargo. And then we're still only talking about one vessel. Just think how much cargo a port can miss out on in this way. With, for example, 1,000 vessels, that's 1,000 times 1,350 tonnes, or 1 1.3 million tonnes. That's why up-to-date port and terminal data is so important. Therefore, the IHMA site is a great initiative with complete up-to-date information in a standardized format. The link between shipper, vessel and port is often the agent. He is familiar with the local situation and coordinates the contacts between vessel or ship owner and pilots, tugs, the terminal, customs, etc. This is work for which accurate and reliable information is a must both from the vessel and from the port and terminal. It is strange that we have to scrap our data from uh, certain parties and that within these parties uh, the data which we are receiving differs from person to person. Well, to all the ports and terminals, uh, I would ask for your help in completing the database and completing the information and getting it into this single window. I think that is the way to go. Standardization in everything, I think, is the way to go.